Previously on Alan Wake. Sorry, I forgot I'm that happened. by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight. Uh -oh. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't uh -oh. want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. go. Oh no, I am in trouble. Chopped off my feet, Kathy Bates style, like that one movie. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. No. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone no. I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Was I doing... I had to have been using a controller before. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Oh shit, my phone. Uh, nothing. Never mind. Actually, I have a controller right here. I didn't throw my phone on the ground at all. The screen is not cracked. Everything is fine. Oh yeah, I was using a... Good evening, Alan. Get away from me. Better now? Fuck Feel you. Calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Flashlight. Now, no why flashlight. don't you come with me? Gun? No we'll gun. I'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Or maybe I'll run away. Fuck you, Butch Hartman. No, that's this uncharitable. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Lonnie. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize I in treating artists. I go wherever I want. I bet kinda. you do. Hello? Bullets? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, what? Hey. Wait, was this my room? No. Night Springs. Oh, the video game. I'd play that. No, oh, not so much Death Rally. Did they... <laughs> it kind of looks like they put in one of the fucking uh, developer, like, slides for level design. Not slides, um... Whiteboards. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. And that's where this dude sucker punches me, right? This way, Alan. Mr. Anderson. Oh, actually, no. I want to go down here. What's over here? Big Bear. I love you, Big Bear. Okay. Let's go in your weird fucking elevator, I guess. I want to push the button. I want to push the button. Let me put... Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know oh, I need to get fun. right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid yeah, but like when she drowned. Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness. 
a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Bro, your it's my video has game. Been constructed an elaborate fantasy <laughs> of scenario, course, of course in which it does. your writings are affecting reality. Oh. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness oh, wow, are trying wow, wow, to wow, stop you. Break your ass as well as he knows. Fuck we you. go this way, Alan. I wasn't no, ready for I go this shot, way. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. And hey, what about Barry? Big sundial. Beyond the shadow you settled for, there's a miracle illuminated. Tass, in memory of a dear friend and a poet. In Tenebris Kader. Um, in darkness. Truth? What is it? It's nine. No, it's eleven in the morning? Yes, eleven in the morning. Paunch. Jump. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Very fucking Cold ominous. Spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. It's like Mordor. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, Storm of Vengeance no coming for your ass, this Hartman. Way. Follow me. No. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising. The dark depths your of your imagination. Imagination is what you work with. After all your Dude, nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. Can I go in here? If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. Oh, boy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. What if I just, like, ran right now? Come along. Let's go inside. No. I don't wanna. How'd you get here? Come on. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. What? That's for staff only. You were scary, impressed by my trophies scary, when you first scary. arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> wow, shooting helpless yeah, animals in the wild. I love it. You. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but it does involve Get some him to the small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 I like you, Emerson. La, 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 What's out here? La, 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 la. Hey, man, what are you doing? What oh, are you painting? Hello. I've painted you. Okay. 
I was just struck okay. by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Creepy. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Cool. Come, Alan. This way. Maybe I don't want to come. You know what? Maybe I want to go back out. I want to go back out here. And steal this shiny thermos. It's my thermos now. Fuck you, Butch Hartman. The Creator's Dilemma. The Engaging New Work. The Engaging... Bah, 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 bah. I can't read today. I'm sorry. The Engaging New Book by Dr. Emil Hartman, the author of the best-selling Creative Flow. His groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in his own words. Now available in bookstores across the country. Okay, just making sure... Now what's up here? Where is my phone? It's on the floor still. Hello, can you show me the camera, please? No, not my bank account. Um... <laughs> That's not impressive or exciting. So I, I figured out how to open the QR code on my phone and it opened to this. Um, I'm not going to scan any more QR codes in this game. Hello, Mr. Coffee Keeper. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The mm -hmm. generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. I don't think that's the reason, Helen. We both know that's not the reason. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Yeah, I met Odin them. And Tor. They had a... How should I put this... A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Dope. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Now, oh, fuck you, buddy. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Not often, and no. Also, where'd this I reverb come from? Bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. 
<laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. We all need you to need forget. to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. <clears throat> All right, what do you got for me? Tommy Zane's writing Zane in. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Hmm. Interesting. Flaring up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. Moonbeams. Oh, just notice leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him, too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was... What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. I love these oh, two. We're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it Man, all the I way, goddammit. Ah, uh, fr- Are we done? All so right. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. All right. Welcome to the com. Ba -ba -ba. Welcome to the com. Yeah. Welcome to the Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you this file. Ba -ba -ba. Man, my brain doesn't really want to take over today, huh? We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy in their personal space, especially when they're engaged by the creative process. Be patient! Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and a sister method, the flow, trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. This game's, like, set work is top-notch. Or realsies. The light's gonna go out, and I'm gonna have to go turn on the generator. On now. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking at wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. 
They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now, and I don't want to disappear. My okay. nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that <laughs> mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk, talk, talk oh, yeah. all the time huh? and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up shut up shut up but I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed and that makes me the scariest nightmare of all regulated medicine makes me the scariest nightmare of all what's your deal what are you doing All right, rock on, lady. Hey, man, we should, like, go inside or some shit. Oh, I can start fucking shit up now. All right. Whoop. Well, I guess that's considered fucking shit up. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Hey, minimum wage, why don't you give why don't you humor me and shut the fuck up? Don't tell me how to live my life. You fucking subordinate. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but <laughs> I love that beat. always dark <sighs> outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there's some kind of symbolic puzzle there. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Hal Emerson. <clears throat> can I knock some of these over? Can I, like, take a peek at them? Are they all the same picture? They might all be the same picture. What shit is going on out there? Alright, whatever. Get on with it, I guess. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Ah, fuck you. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell are 
now that we get a damn Here it comes. I don't remember. Here's a friendly poke from the old near witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Bro. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Nah! It's I my use store. Yet? I'm taking it. No. We're on a comeback tour, baby. I wanna be a cowboy. Oh, there's a manuscript page now. Hammer's go through here. Will have it say, Rise up in their name. No, I don't think there's anything through there. I think they just kind of faked it to make it look like there was something through there. Big owl. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The, the crazy old fart hit her yard. If she was one of Hartley's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Come Hartman's on, office. He had taken first. all my manuscript it's pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Uh, okay. Well. Maybe you could come out and beat our rules, adult diaper and asses once, since you're so tough, Bert. Yo, that dude just like fucking saw what they were doing and hid in the bathroom. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? Mortal <laughs> name. <laughs> What a piece of shit. Yeah, you better hide they left his painting out there. He's probably kidding, Birch. He's got a great sense. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. That's I saw Stucky. his name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. I am famous. I Now, Mrs. Wake. Can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man Damn, I've Alice. Ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call. Rudolph Lane's case it had is been a cut up of this. He was completely Just blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps, a recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's oh, fuck you, old man. The best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. Not buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there, too! Agent Nightingale. 
This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you fucking you not. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't Damn. believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least that's one problem I don't gotta fucking deal with, right? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <coughs> Oh, weird fucking game. This is a weird fucking game. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. That's not his face. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely Al's in league with Hartman. With your ability and mine. Yeah, but now he's just, just that shadow man. The dark presence will be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Yeah, it's through here. Um. Okay, well. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out ah, of my way. Okay, cool. Is run? Is we run? Cool. Alan, please. Go 
in here, whatever. You ain't got nothing for me. Oh, I'm being actively chased. Okay, well. Alan, please move faster. Alan. Oh, I gotta bait it into hitting these doors. Alan. It wasn't even moving, Alan. Oh, that's run, okay. I just thought I couldn't run here. I don't know why I thought that. That was a dodge, but thank you, I guess. locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al! Boop. Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Shiver me timbers. Alright, well. Cool, let me out. Bye. Bro, what do you think I've been trying to do? This fucking lunatic locked me up. I don't like me. Those evil guys. Oh no, not them. I don't want to fight them. You get. 
Oh yeah, whatever, I'll fight him. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, bird. Hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Hell no. Oh hell no. Oh, that's not a guy to fight, that's a Barry. Ow! You're alive! Let's get yeah. out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Barry, you fucking putz. What is dodging even supposed to do in this game then? Okay, never mind, maybe that. Oh, I'm dead though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm in trouble. I know, let's go. Can we just. Oh, that's. Annoying. I don't want to die again. Though. No, we're just gonna... God damn, man!
had a bug hit me on the way out, huh? Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were the gonna Anderson say something farm. like that. You know what? You owe me big time for don't this. Get big when this is medicine. through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Oh hell yeah. Fuck you, sneaky house. I think that's going to do it for uh, this episode. Thank you, my friends, and I'll catch you in the next one.